This is Nine News with Amelia Adams. Good morning. We begin with a bushfire crisis unfolding in New South Wales, where there are plans to bring in the military to help with the firefighting efforts. This is the situation as we go to air this morning. An emergency warning is in place for a bushfire near the township of Bell, near Lithgow. A watch and act alert has been issued for fires at Springwood and Mount Victoria. Residents in Lura, Katoomba and Blackheath could be evacuated today. This is due to a 300 kilometre fire front which is sweeping across the Blue Mountains. A massive bushfire on the Southern Highlands is still burning out of control. The RFS has put out a watch and act warning for residents in the Balmoral area. And volatile conditions and temperatures in the mid-30s are expected to make today's firefight far worse for volunteers on the ground. The Rural Fire Service will bring us an update in just a few moments. We're standing by to bring you that media conference live. But in the meantime, let's go to Kelly Fedor, who's in the Blue Mountains for us. Kelly, the biggest threat is a blaze in the Bell area near Lithgow. What is the latest there this morning? Well, Amelia, residents there were told yesterday morning to get out and the safest time for them to do I'm being that. I'm warned, though, with the state of emergency in place for the next 30 days that they could be forced from their homes if authorities deem it is necessary. Amelia? All right. Kelly, thank you. We'll check in with you a little later in our bulletin. And meanwhile, in the Southern Highlands, a blaze at Balmoral Village is still causing concern this morning. Samantha Vardis is there. Samantha, the threat may have eased slightly, but sounds like the danger is still very real. Well, that's right, Amelia, and that's because that Hall Road fire is still burning out of control just kilometres away. Now, the fire has already burned around 14, and the RFS uh, aren't expecting those schools to reopen until later in the week. Now, over in Yerenbul... I interrupt you there. Sorry to cut you off, but we are going to go live to the RFS headquarters where Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons is about to hold a media conference. Let's go there now. Uh, we're joined uh, with Minister Gallagher uh, and Minister Keenan uh, and, of course, Commissioner Scipioni. Uh, I think it's indicative uh, of the ongoing uh, support uh, being offered uh, jurisdictionally uh, in New South Wales and, of course, uh, with our fellow federal counterparts uh, in ensuring that we are working as uh, coordinated uh, and as integrated. Commissioner, can I ask you... Can I pull out? Have we had any sort of... All right, that is where we will leave that. The RFS Commissioner there just confirming there are 58 fires still burning across New South Wales, 14 of those uncontained. Today is expected to be the hottest day in the next few days. Very strong winds also adding to those challenging high-risk conditions for fire crews. And, of course, we have got reporters in the fire zones. We will cross live to them for an update after 11.30. And if you need any information about the crisis, you can call the RFS Bushfire Information Line. The number is on your screen now. It's 1800 679 737. All right. Let's have a quick look at the weather now around the country. Showers and 27 degrees in Brisbane, a fine day in Sydney, 31. Showers also in Canberra, reaching 32. Showers for Melbourne, 18 degrees there, a mostly fine day in Hobart. A bit of drizzle for Adelaide, sunshine in the west and 34 degrees in Darwin. Stay with us ahead on Nine News. We will bring you an update on the bushfires grouping New South Wales. Also, the mystery of Maria, a young girl found living with gypsies in Greece. But where is her real family? And the Queen of Garage Sales, Oprah's prized possessions, up for grabs. Welcome back. These are our top stories this morning. 58 bushfires are burning across New South Wales. 14 of those are uncontained. Residents in Bell near Lithgow are being told to leave now with an emergency warning in place. And further south, a bushfire in the Balmoral area in the Southern Highlands is burning out of control. It's already destroyed 14,000 hectares. Amelia Ballinger reporting there. All right, let's get all the sports news now with Roz Kelly. Roz, good morning. Some concerns about Alessandro Del Piero this morning. Good morning, Amelia. Yes, it's the big A-League Sydney derby this weekend and the Italian superstar, he didn't train with Sydney FC this morning, the latest on his fitness next. Socceroo Tim Cahill's record-breaking goal in the Major League. 
and Magpie Dale Thomas finds a new home as the final AFL trade deals are closed. AFL's trade period has entered its last week with Collingwood just moments ago snaring forward Jesse White from the Swans in exchange for pick 44 in the national draft. Former Pie Dale Thomas has already found a championship. Still plenty of sport around at the moment. We'll have more coming up in the afternoon news, Amelia. Thank you very much. We'll see you then. Stay with us up next. We'll have a quick update on the fire situation in New South Wales as well as the finance and the latest weather forecast. Welcome back. Just before we go, here is the latest on the fire threat in New South Wales for you. There are 58 fires burning across the state. 14 of those are not contained. An emergency warning is in place for Bell near Lithgow. A watch and act alert has been issued for Springwood and Mount Victoria. Lura, Katoomba and Blackheath in the Blue Mountains could also be evacuated today. A watch and act warning is in place for residents in the Balmoral area in the Southern Highlands and volatile conditions are expected to worsen throughout today. Let's have a quick look at the weather now. Around the country today, showers in Brisbane 27, fine and 31 for Sydney. Some showers in Melbourne, fine in Perth. And taking a look at finance before we go, our share market is stronger this morning. The All Lords up 36 points and the Australian dollar is mixed. It's currently worth 96 US cents. And that is our morning news hour for today. Wendy Kingston will be here at 3pm with Nine News Now. And I'll be back with the afternoon news just after four o'clock. I'm Amelia Adams. Thanks for your company. Hope to see you this afternoon.